What are major risk factors? Plus, health reporter Elizabeth Wiesa updates us on what Johnson & Johnson vaccine recipients should do on boosters. We recap President Joe Biden's January 6th address to the American people. Wellness reporter Sarah Monushko talks about platonic life relationships and the East Coast braces for a bomb sea. Good morning. I'm Taylor Wilson and this is 5 Things You Need to Know Friday, the 7th of January, 2022. Today, boosters for the J&J vaccine. We'll also look at platonic life partnerships and more. Here are some of the top headlines COVID-19 cases continue to surge around the country, and that includes a huge number of vaccinated and even boosted Americans. But new data from the CDC shows that vaccinated Americans without risk factors are largely immune to the worst of the virus. A study of more than 1. 2 million vaccinated people from December 2020 to October 2021 found that only people with at least one risk factor had severe outcomes or death from the virus. Even among those, the instances were only 1. 5 out of every 10. Oh, oh, oh. All 36 participants who died had at least four risk factors, things like being 65 and older, or with immunosuppression or other underlying conditions. Those results underscore points by health officials that people under the age of 65, who are healthy and fully vaccinated have extremely high protection from COVID's worst effects. One caveat, the study was done before the highly transmissible Omicron variant took over the world but also before widespread booster shots. 74% of Americans are at least partially vaccinated against COVID-19 and 62.4% are fully vaccinated. Those who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have had a bit of a different vaccination journey than the many Americans vaccinated with Pfizer or Moderna. For starters, they only got one initial dose of the vaccine. And then as a booster, many have received a different brand. So how much protection is that booster giving? 